Hey, Osiris here, and I want to go over some guild making strategies. In this particular video, I want to be discussing how to convert extra leave allowances into guild. And the way we can do this is by taking our quests that we have for various crafts and just turning those in for profit. In particular, while you used to be able to do do thread for a lot of guild, Patch 2.1 made do thread not really worth much anymore, so one that still holds decent value is Whorehide. And on my server, they're about 150 to 200 gil apiece. In between all 100 leaves, so you can get you know, close to 6 stacks. So we'll get like 100,000 plus gil out of using all of our leave allowances. And the best part is it doesn't take a lot of time. So the first thing I did was I already bought a stack of boar leather. And I'm going to buy two stacks of algoot leather. And it's probably cheaper to buy this one here, but you know, it's only a couple gil. And then we're going to go over to our regents. And we're actually not going to need regents, we need sinew. And I already have a stack of diarmite sinew, and we're going to buy two more. So, I'm just going to go and buy that. And as you can see, this costume is nothing, so it's no big deal. We'll just get about... Um, Gonna get about 300, and then we're gonna make sure we have some hippogriff sinew as well, and we'll need about 100 of this, and that's more than enough. And you can kind of keep your leftovers for next time. And I will say this quest does require about level 30 leather worker in order to take advantage of, but that's not too difficult. So good. I bought all my regents. Let's just double check everything. I've got you know plenty of algot leather, I've got more than enough boar leather, lots of diamite sinew, and plenty of hippogriff sinew. So what we're going to do now is, we've got our regents, we're going to go to Costa del Sol. Because that's where our target leave is going to be. What we're going to do is, we're literally just going to do the same two leaves over and over again, until we use all 100 leave allowances. And this doesn't actually take too long. Because what I've done is I've gone ahead and cleared out most of the slots in my inventory, so I'll just be able to use the quick synthesis option and go AFK while you know, my items are being made. Okay, so we're gonna go to Tradecraft Leaves and we'll just look in between we're looking at these two. So here's one, subordinate claws, and slave to fashion. As you can see, they're both paying out right now. And what I'm just gonna do now is gonna open my crafting log. And I'm just going to quick synth this for about, um, we'll say 60 will be fine. That's, so that'll be worth 20 leaves total. And, you know, you can go AFK while this is going on. I mean, this is going to take about three minutes. I want to go ahead and pause the video and pick it up once this finishes. Okay, so I finished with the goatskin choker, and I still have, you know, 17 slots in my inventory. I want to go ahead and do the same thing for this boar skin choker here. I'm going to put in 17. And I'm just going to go AFK while that quick sense. I'm going to pause the video once again. Okay, so I finished the um, synthesis here. And what I want to do now is to start turning these quests in. So for um, this one, you know, we'll get our 500 gil and 12 war hides. And then we'll do this repeatable one. And since it's a repeatable leave, we'll take that 12, and then it'll ask me if I want to turn in again, and we'll say yes. And we'll just keep going here. And each time we're going to get that full reward of 12. Okay, so we've completed that, and then we'll check again. You usually don't get all of the leaves offering... Um, you know, the boar leather. So what I like to do here is I use this slave to fashion quest, so I just accept this one, and then I'll turn that in, and when you do that, it will it will reset the rewards for all the leaves. So we'll go back here. This one's so convenient, because everyone's right next to each other. Same thing, nothing good. We'll um, accept this same one. And the great part about it is, since you're getting gill and shards, that basically covers the quest, the cost of the items. Because, you know, we're turning in items that cost gill to make, but you're pretty much getting that all back in the gill and the shards that you're spending. Because, you know, these items only cost, you know, three or four hundred gill a piece to make, and we're just making them with quick synthesis. 
So actually probably netting a slight profit off the guild turn-ins. And sometimes you have to burn through a lot of leaves, this is an unfortunate part of this, in order to get the ones you want. Okay, so we really don't want that item, and we're going to skip that leave there. We're really just looking for the boar hide. Because that's what has the value. Okay, so we got the fingerless foreskin gloves, but we're, we're not really making those. I mean, we could, but I'm pretty sure they require more ingredients. So I really don't want to mess with that leave. I'll just... Um, skip around it here. I mean, if, if you want to make some of those, you could, and you could probably be a little bit more efficient about this whole thing. But I'm okay doing it this way. I'm just going to record this and just see, just so I can show you, you know, what happens when we get the item we're looking for. It's kind of an unlucky shriek here, but it happens. I'm actually going to not get that novice out just because I find it just too annoying to get these items. See, they clog up inventory space. Yeah, it looks like I don't even have to move between these two vendors if I stand here. It's kind of convenient. You know, this is something you'll do if you have extra leave allowances. I mean, I've already got all my crafts to 50, so there's no real point in me saving those leaves. This is probably I've done this a couple times now and like cleared out my leaves. This is probably the least lucky I've ever gotten with the reward so far, but hopefully it'll even out by the time I burn through you know all 100. I've only moved through 15 so far. So it's not like we're anywhere near the end. And the Freed Chef spell is actually worth about a thousand gil, and you can synth that into something. So we're actually going to go ahead and take that one, and I'll just um, I'll just do it once though. But yeah, this reward is worth about a thousand gil. Okay, so we finally got the boar hide, and what we can do here is just um, turn this in, take our boar hide, and we'll you know, use all three leave allowances just so we get the most out of the allowance. That'll be 36 boar hide for that quest, 1500 gil. Okay, we got it again, so we're getting kind of lucky now. Okay, so here's how you can make this a little bit more efficient. When you have both of them, in the beginning I just turned them all in, but what you can do is just turn in the repeatable one. You get your 36 war hide. And then you'll check the leaves again, just to see what the reward is for this. It's nothing good. So we just won't take any, and then we'll get our 12 here. And then we can check again. So, no luck there, but that's okay. Oops. Okay, so what I'm going to actually do now is pause the video, and I'm just going to, on my A, no, I'm not going to bore you, I'm going to run through and do all 78 remaining leaves, and I will resume the video um, once I'm finishing up, just so you, know, you can get a final tally of my, my loot total, just so you can see how much money you can make off of this. So, 
I'm going to pause it now. Okay, so I've just finished in turning in all my leaves except for one just because the last leaves don't pay out boar hide. So we're going to go ahead and sort my inventory, see where we're at. You can see I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, and a half sacks of boar hide. And you know, that was basically free boar hide, and they're about 15k stack. The reason I say they were free is because, you know, as you can see, I picked up about 62 or 63,000 gil from the quest turn-ins, and more than paid for you know, the actual crafting. So I was able to pick up six stacks of a 15k item, you know, and then a little bit extra. So I made about 100k here in worth of items, which is, you know, not bad at all. And if the market conditions go up a little bit, which they can for this type of item, I could have easily made, you know, 120 or even 130k. And the best part about this was that, I mean, the whole process took probably a little bit over an hour, but of actual playing time, it only really took like 15 minutes. Most of the time spent doing this is just going in AFK once you set up quicksand. Because I, I turned in, you know, about 70... I probably turned in about 75 or 80 of the boar skin chokers and probably about 100 or 150 of the goat skin chokers. So, you know, you do have to spend some time going AFK crafting, but overall it's not bad for the reward. Now, for the playtime, you really can't beat the, you know, the 100, 150k gil I just made right here getting on this boar hide. So, if this video is helpful for you, if you've got a bunch of leave allowances sitting around and you're not using them, definitely use this strategy.